Welcome back everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV and I make fun little videos here on YouTube. Now, let's just ima imagine for a second here that we're standing next to a beehive and it's winter. Sad face. I'm playing a character like Wartox and all I want is these pesky little bees to come out of their actual shell. There's a few ways to actually do this, so let's start with the easiest way and basically from there I can showcase or just tell you how to do the other ones as it's fairly simple. Yes, I'm in creative mode, but in this case, I'm just going to focus on the easiest method to actually do this. And if you watch my previous thing with merms and also pig houses, where you can actually force them out of their actual containers, you'll go ahead and watch those videos and you'll showcase the second way of doing this. But let's start with the easiest way, shall we? All you have to do is basically go up to the actual beehives and punch it. When you do, every bee that's inside of here will actually turn into a killer bee and eventually fall out of their actual nest as they decide to want to come and kill you. This is actually extremely amazing for war talks for one specific reason only. And I'll share that reason with you right now. Normally, a million bees are actually outside of their beehive and they're just wandering around. But now you have the actual plan of punching any beehive near you and basically attacking bees anywhere close by to any other hive and they're not going to come out of their actual beehive. This is amazing because it gives you an ample amount of opportunity to basically walk around and punch the hives. The other bonus about this is, if you watched my previous video about the hives, is you can actually heal them with healing salves. Yes, the salves that you get from a spider and then turn turning them into actual healing, so if you make yourself a healing salve, which requires two ashes, one rock, and a spider gland, well, guess what? Now you go up to the actual thing and you can go ahead and heal the bee box. By the way, this works for anything. And that is how you do it. The other way of actually doing this without actually, well, it still probably would be less for actually hitting it, would be setting it on fire with a torch and immediately dousing it with an actual, um, Oh my god, why am I blanking? <laughs> With an actual watering can after. When you take the watering can out though, it's unfortunate because the bees will attack you usually if they are getting too close and because they're killer bees. So you're not going to have a lot of time to get away before they start to do that. And you can risk burning down the bee hut, which we definitely don't want to have. Beehives are really useful around Don't Starve Together. So for me, I prefer the punching method and then just repairing it afterwards as bees will eventually come back into the nest. So there you go. That's how to get bees to a come out of their shell, you know, when you're actually near them and you want them to. Now, just keep in mind, if you want to go near a killer bee biome, well, that's a different story. But, or is it? It's not. Because the same situation applies during winter. Bees refuse to come out. And of course, if you go near them and we can switch over to uh, daytime just to showcase the same situation. Now you're standing next to the beehive, even if it's a killer bee biome, it's not going to matter. And you're still going to be forced to punch in the hive. But like I said before, all you have to do is, if you want to repair them, is use your healing salve and go ahead to any of the ones that you punched in the wintertime, repair them, and then rinse and repeat this method anytime you want within winter or without winter. But yeah, go ahead and enjoy this method, especially if you're playing War Talks, as it's a really easy way of getting souls. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.